right here in front of me is the uh, Peel P50. It is amazing that Jeremy Clarkson managed to get his whole six foot, five foot frame of himself into that very vehicle. Do you remember uh, ja James May driving this vehicle in the Top Gear studio? Yep, the bubble car. Right here is the uh, small car, the P45. Not really much of a car, is it? No wonder it didn't work so well. Jeremy Clark didn't even consider health and safety. He did he? What an idiot. Just behind me here is uh, Jeremy Clarkson's Porsche 944 ambulance I just absolutely loved it how uh, when they were set off on their challenge that they did a uh, a parody of the uh, Thunderbirds theme tune I just loved it. Thunderbirds are not so good. <laughs> Stand just behind me here are the uh, three mobility scooters that the uh, Top Gear Trio built. That's uh, Richard Hammond's uh, vehicle. And that there, the, those two there are. Jeremy and James's vehicles, respectively. Well, just behind me here, of course, is the um, the Jaguar XJS TGV12 Express. The 
PVP 12. Very basically, a Jaguar XK, XJS. Jaguar XJS as a railway locomotive. Technically in configuration, it is quite simply a 220 locomotive. This here is the uh, railway carriage for the TGV-12. As you can see, very, very simply, it is, of all things, a um, caravan body, completely cut down to size. Now let's see what it's like from the uh, passenger point of view. Imagining being on the rails behind this. So, here begs an interesting question. Can this PV G12 actually work on the rails? No, not really. It can't work on the rails at all, technically. So much for Jeremy's sports train it doesn't it's an interesting concept perhaps but it can't really work on the rails Um, James May overshot um, Quorn and Woodhouse Station on the Great Central Railway. No wonder Richard Hammond quoted, James, we're bloody miles off! You know, there is something you know, James May has forgotten regarding railways. You learn the road. Don't you?